Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to a new video on a Uniswap related coin. Um, I covered Uniswap, covered DYDX. Also wanted to give you my thoughts on, on Sushi today. Um, it's It's been one of the strongest performers. I mean, basically yesterday after after we got the news, um, we rallied a ton, all right? And before that, Sushi Swap already was showing some bullish momentum as well. So um, it's just in general a little bit more interesting to look at. But you can see that we pumped almost 50%. Um, Sushi Swap is actually a, a pretty good protocol, a pretty good platform, all right? If you look at it, they have a pretty big treasury right here. Um, most of it's in, in Sushi, but they do have millions of dollars in Sushi that they can spend, which is always great. Um, and they have quite a lot of fees. As you can see, the fees are around 23 million per year. That's lower than DYDX, which I think makes DYDX better. But the market cap is only $300 million, all right? It's only $300 million. A ton of it's, it, it is, is, is staked. Uh, so that decreases the circulating supply. So that decreases supply. And if then demand increases, price increases a lot. And that's what we're seeing. Um, so just wanted to briefly give you my thoughts on, on the situation, uh, give you my thoughts on what's possible from here. We've obviously rallied a lot already with, with Sushi, and you'll probably see if this loads up because it wasn't loading that well last time around. Uh, but you can also see that we, we, we've had millions of dollars probably in positions opened. Yeah, so here you can see that. Um, had a bit of a sell-off already yesterday, uh, yesterday afternoon as well, which is interesting to see. Um, but this is still bullish. The open interest is still going up. Now, what this means is that millions of dollars are being opened in positions. You can assume that most of those will be long. Um, we can check that out a little bit, or at least we can get some sort of an estimate of whether that's really true by looking at where most of the uh, liquidity is. And there you'll see there's a lot of liquidity right now um, coming to existence between 1.75 and 1.7. So that's uh, right here on the chart. So that means most people are just longing this very high uh, with a very tight stop loss or a very tight liquidation, which is crazy. Um, but no, in, in general, a lot of people are still buying this. That's why the open interest is going up. And that's why I think at this moment, su Sushi is still bullish. But then again, if you look at the one hour time frame, you'll also see that 1.85, which you can also see on the daily time frame, is a strong resistance. Uh, like the last time we tested this was the 5th of November 2022. And then we failed to break above that level between 1.85 and $2. Um, and at this moment, I also do not think we can break above that. All right. I, I think we've rallied too much with all of these open positions. Like there's too much, there's too much profit taking potential in this level. Uh, the level technically is too, too strong that I, I think most of the most of the wills and most of the huge traders that opened long positions on Sushi, I think we'll, they'll take enough profits here. They'll sell, sell enough positions here um, to actually make the price not break above that. Now, is it possible? Obviously, if we keep going up and if the open interest keeps increasing as we go towards that level, we'll break above that. All right. Don't get it twisted. I mean, I, I could be wrong. But the thing is, is that right now, we've also had some major liquidations. Uh, the first time we got to 1.83, I think it's a bit more likely that, you know, we'll get a pullback. We'll get the, we'll grab the liquidity at 1.1.7, 1 1.65. From there, we can have a spike up to this level, but I don't think we can break above that. I think ultimately it's most likely that that resistance level is going to stick and that we'll have a bit more of a pullback down towards the 1.5 area. Um, but that's what I think is most likely right now. I mean, right now, fundamentally, all of these all of these related coins are super volatile and a lot is going on. So I'll keep you updated on that. Um, it, it depends a lot on, on the development right now. But for now, this seems most likely. So if you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. Um, have a great weekend and I'll see you on my next videos. Bye.